Oh! Uh, I, uh... I didn't see you there. Oh, this? <laughs> this is the iPhone 11 Pro. You what? A full review? Now? But there's a lot to talk about. Are you sure you want to see all of it? Okay, okay. Well, I guess uh, this is the iPhone 11 Pro reveal. What I can tell you right now for this full review of the iPhone 11 Pro, what I can tell you right now is that this phone's definitely worth getting if you're a photographer or videographer. But if you're not under those categories, it really doesn't make much sense to get it. This, th for this video, I really wanna focus on why this is a great phone and kind of forget about the iPhone 11 for just a minute here and just appreciate this phone here and why this would even be considered a pro device. Yes, having three cameras equals more cares. That's, that's great. But what matters is that each camera does its job, does it well, and looks really good. And I feel like with these cameras, it checks off all three of those things. The standard wide angle lens takes really nice portrait shots that honestly, I'm really happy that I kind of get to experience the same effect that the iPhone XR had, where you had that wide lens that you could do portrait mode on and it was just a single lens. Now I can get that same effect using the standard wide angle lens on the iPhone 11 Pro. On the telephoto lens, there's still the standard portrait mode, but it has a lot more detail than last year's model. And I noticed that it looks a little bit more realistic because there's that finer detail in it. Then there's the ultra wide lens, which I have not yet experienced as well as the portrait mode for the standard wide angle lens. I would say that the wide angle lens is definitely nice, but I kind of wish it was a anamorphic lens or kind of something a little more cinematic for it being a pro level user. But for photography, it looks freaking awesome. Y'all y'all, need to check my Instagram, which is in the link in the description, because I've posted a lot of photos that really are a lot more dynamic than photos I've taken in the past, simply because I've been utilizing this triple lens camera. I get a lot of like weird distorted photos that I see a lot of people liking and enjoying more than like a standard photo that you can just get with any other camera. So it's really cool to get that kind of effect with the wide angle or the uh, standard wide and then the telephoto lens. It's, it's really, really nice. Okay, so in terms of durability, after using this for a while, this is the full review after all, I have yet to get any additional scratches on this back glass. That one scratch that I mentioned before, like I still kind of notice it, but it has to be in like very, very harsh lighting, like a ring light here. Like it has to be really harsh lighting for me to even notice it. But other than that, I haven't gotten any other scratches or dents or anything on this phone. And I've dropped it a couple times, just being honest here. I have been keeping it in a case. This is the Moment Biodegradable case. I'll leave, I'll leave? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go. I will leave the video in the link description on the top five cases for the iPhone 11 Pro. To get back into the iPhone 11 Pro in terms of durability, I would still put a case on it. Even though that it's doing really well with scratches and dents for minor drops, I would still put it in a case. I am seeing some cracked screens, 
um, from different YouTubers and different people reviewing it, but they've always been like really minor scrap, like really minor cracks, like nothing that was like, like demolishing the phone. So, so nothing too dramatic for that. So the last two things for pro that the iPhone 11 pro has that really summarizes the rest of this review would be battery life. And then also for the display quality. So typically with a display, you don't notice it on something that's the size of your hand. I mean, yes, this is a really, really nice display to look at. And I honestly can tell the difference right away between this phone and an iPhone 10 or 10s. I, I can notice it really, really quickly. And I, I, I feel proud of myself by that. Um, that I can tell the difference really easily. But it's just really interesting about the display is that this screen looked better than the 10s Max, even though it's bigger. Maybe it's because of the XDR display, but honestly, not many people are even looking at this display. But if you're like me, where you're taking a lot of photos and videos, you're gonna wanna zoom in on your content and make sure that you have a really, really good image and that you were able to capture the quality of what you were looking at in front of you. And it really helps to be able to see the full resolution right from your hand. And so the last thing, which is the most popular thing that everyone likes to talk about on YouTube, I can 100% guarantee there's not one YouTuber out there that won't talk about this. And I'm gonna add to that, it's battery life. So. For my iPhone 11 Pro, and I am a heavy, heavy user, I can last two days without charging it. Two days. If I have my phone plugged in and I wake up at around like, like unplug it at like eight o'clock in the morning, and then the next time I'll charge it is like 10 to 11 o'clock the next day. Pretty, pretty impressive. And to really prolong the battery life of any smartphone and any lithium battery is to not charge it overnight, but to charge it in little increments throughout the day. And your phone will last even longer than mine is because you are basically training the battery to go for long periods of time without charging, without forgetting that, oh wait, I have to charge in a short amount of time. The best. Uh, counter to that if you're on a time constraint is to use a fast charger which the iPhone 11 Pros do have a fast charger in the box um, which is an 18 watt charger and it comes with a cable that you need not for the iPhone 11 but it does support fast charging but that's besides the point we're talking about the 11 Pro that will help you prolong your battery life by not using the fast charger overnight just use a fast charger throughout the day but you should also throughout the day, subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave a comment down below what you would like to see in my next video and not accidentally turn on the flash on your phone and catch me in the next episode. Mata ne.